and the car is not speeding up. It's going very slow. And oh, poor weather detected. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the wipers. Man, I just love the way this looks. <laughs> it's just so cool to see all the water beating up and flying backwards like that. Okay, now I prank to myself because I'm stuck behind this guy. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Tesla Challenge. This is number 19, I believe. Uh, we are going for one in the rain. So, you know, everything has been so weird the past few days with this, all this coronavirus stuff. The streets are pretty empty. I mean, you can see obviously there's some cars around here, but normally like I'm the first car at this stoplight. Normally there's like a 20 car backup and there's five cars here right now. And the highways have also been like a madhouse. People, for whatever reason, are going so fast. I guess just because there's not that many other cars and I don't know if the cops are busy or what, but people are going, they're blowing by me. I'm going, I've been going 85 and they're blowing by me. So these people are going 90, 100 miles an hour. I don't know why. So we have a Tesla challenge in the rain here. I've done this before once or twice, um, but it's always requested again. People are really interested. And this time, this is the first Tesla challenge in the rain where I've used Aquapel. And so if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above. So check that out. But I basically put Aquapel, which is a water repellent, a long lasting water repellent, kind of like Rain-X, except it lasts much longer. I put it on the windshield. You can see the rain here beating up. Actually, if I turn the wipers off for you really quick, you'll see that the rain will beat up and kind of fly off the windshield as I drive. Um, and I put it on all the cameras. And so that should help autopilot uh, do its thing. So here you can see all the water starting to beat up. And that's because of that Aquapel. Um, now I do still like my windshield wipers to be on. Um, and they work really well with the Aquapel and, and all that. So we're gonna hop on the highway. If you've never seen a Tesla challenge, basically what I do is I get on the highway, I turn on autopilot and I set up my settings and then I don't do anything. I let the car do everything for me. I just keep a hand on the wheel for safety. Um, if there's any kind of safety concerns, I'll take over, but that pretty much never happens. So I hop on the highway here and turn on autopilot and there we go. So from here on out, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm gonna let the car do everything. I will only take over for safety. Um, I do keep a hand on the wheel. If you're like thinking that the wheel's turning because of me, I can't move the wheel. If I move the wheel at all, I'll just show you. Autopilot turns off, that's just the way it is. Um, so we'll leave this on and we have a semi coming up and the car is not speeding up. It's going very slow and oh, poor weather detected. So it's not even gonna make its own lane changes right now. Oh boy. Um, so already, this is not very good. So navigate on autopilot, which is where the car will make its own lane changes and do everything, is not working right now. <laughs> so in this case right now, the car won't do anything. Um, anyway, at the end of the challenge, I'll give the car a grade. And um, I think I might not tell you so that I don't influence your grade, but you can vote in the top right of the video. Here are the results from last time. Uh, last time I gave the car a B and the car got a B grade. And I think most of you agreed with that, but again, maybe because I said that. So um, let's go. There's actually a pretty decent amount of traffic. Maybe people are working, that's good news. Um, so let's see how the car does. Uh, we have, you can see here, 25 miles until our exit. Um, and hopefully the car can take me on ramp to off ramp without me having to do anything. But at this point, when you see the two lines, that means the car can't do anything. The, the car uh, is just gonna sit here. So we'll see. Maybe, maybe it'll navigate on autopilot, we'll come back on. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the wipers, um, especially since I have the Aquapel, uh, so I can still see pretty well without the wipers. And I'm wondering if Navigate on Autopilot will come back. So if you don't know, one way the car detects poor weather, you know, and it gives you that little error message of Navigate on Autopilot not being on, is, see right here, poor weather detected, is the wiper speed. So if the wipers are at a speed of two, either automatic or if I set them to two, Navigate on autopilot is automatically disabled. So sometimes you can kind of work around that 
by just turning the wipers off. But if, again, the, the cameras are a little blurry, uh, almost like the backup camera here, and they're detecting, uh, or they're having trouble seeing, that's another way that it will detect um, the poor weather. So as of now, it looks like turning the wipers off isn't helping, but I'm gonna leave them off for now because I can still see perfectly fine and it looks pretty cool. <laughs> um, and we'll see if nav on AP will come back. All right, glad to be speeding up as we slowed down there. Um, the raindrops weren't being pushed back as far and so it made the visibility a little worse. I, I could still see, of course, or I would have just turned the wipers on, but pretty interesting that just that 10 mile an hour drop in speed, wow, it's like, it's so clear now, you know, compared to before it didn't look uh, nearly as clear. So commenting on the traffic again, uh, there were a pretty good amount of cars back there, but this point um, in my drive, normally you have that merging over there. This point is normally really backed up and I'm normally going closer to maybe 20 or 30 miles an hour at this point. Oh man, look at all those cones, that's so cool. Um, wow, it actually looks like it's picking up the reflections of the cones and putting them in the lane, or at least it was doing that. But, um, so there's a lot less traffic and especially in the morning going to work, oh my gosh, it's a ghost town. Um, and this, I mean, there's me, there's a few cars behind um, and there's two ahead. It's just, it's strange. I mean, things are definitely, you can tell, things are shut down. So unfortunately, this is a point where we're missing out on those navigate on autopilot features. You know, autopilot's doing a really great job so far. I technically, ever since I turned it on, I haven't done anything. I've just kept a hand on the wheel and Tesla's autopilot has been doing everything for me. Um, so it's good in that regard, but not having nav on AP now, we're set for 80 and we're behind these guys that are going a bit slower. Now there is um, an exit coming up on the left, so that may be why they're camping the left lane. Um, but this is a point where nav on AP would move over, pass them, um, and if there's no other cars, just stay in that right lane. Okay, so thankfully they're getting out of our way. I don't know why the wheel just went to the right. That was weird. Let's skip past this cement truck. Um, and we're speeding up, which is great. Um, so again, that's another part where normally it's just, it's so backed up because of those two exits, but traffic is greatly reduced. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I don't want to be happy about that. <laughs> it's reduced for a, a really bad reason. All right, so here's where I'm gonna intervene. Unfortunately, I'm gonna move into the right lane. Let's see. So the car is capable of making its own lane changes. It did that um, all on its own. It's just not making them without me first asking, uh, which I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know how it makes those decisions, but it can make the lane change. It's just not going to until I tell it. Man, I just love the way this looks. <laughs> it's just so cool to see all the water beating up and flying backwards like that. Okay, now I prank to myself because I'm stuck behind this guy. Um, do I want to make the lane change? I do. I don't have the patience. I already inter I already intervened once. Oh, in the car. Okay, I thought it wasn't going to be able to do it, but it, it figured it out. So we have this error message here. Oops, um, right there. Autopilot features limited. Features may be restored on next drive. Again, it's just due to the rain and the camera is not having great visibility. Well, uh, that was definitely one of the fastest drives on that stretch of road I've ever had due to the reduced traffic coming up to our exit here. And of course, navigate on autopilot, never turn back on. So the car will not take this exit. I got to do it myself. Um, I'm not going to give a grade. I'm not going to do it. You guys normally just tell me why my grade's wrong anyway. <laughs> so um, I'll let you be the judges. You grade in the top right, click the little I. Pick how you think the car did, A, B, whatever, the grade you want to give it. Um, but I'll give you my impressions. Overall, I thought 
the autopilot part of autopilot was rock solid. I don't think we had one error or issue at all. The car followed the lines. It kept its speed appropriately. I had the follow distance set at two. Um, so it was set there at two. It did everything really good. It never turned autopilot off. Um, so in regards to that, I'm really happy. Now navigate on autopilot, that was bad. It never turned on the whole time. And you know, I think in the user manual, it says something about weather affects it or something and, and you know, maybe don't use it in the rain or things like that. But if Tesla wants 100% full self-driving, it's gotta be able to work in the rain. Now the thing I'll comment about that is autopilot is going to be rewritten and it's gonna be completely new and different um, and we have no idea how it's gonna work. So what I'm used to today and what you're used to today with autopilot, it's not gonna be the same when that rewrite happens. So we have things to look forward to. Um, I'm not too bummed out about that. Uh, I have high hopes. You know, I hope that Tesla uh, engineers, their software engineers can get this figured out. Uh, but we'll see. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, sorry, it was a little more exciting, but I mean, that's good, right? It shouldn't be too exciting. That means the car's doing a good job. So I look forward to talking to you down in the comments about this one, and you will see me in the next video.